was good beautiful people it is i your friendly neighborhood ema x and i have been over here freaking karate fighting that's not that's terrible karate fighting but one second because it was MIA. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started even though we are a little bit behind schedule. The technical difficulties I encountered is just that <laughs> I was supposed, I can't get my webcam set up on my laptop. So I was trying to go live on here and on YouTube and <laughs> That just did not work. The simulcast was not was not meant to be for today. But that's all good. We are still grateful to have each other here. And for the YouTube folks, when you do see this, um, we are going to go ahead and um, upload this to YouTube when we're done so you guys can still get it. But peace, beautiful people. It is I, your friendly neighborhood, Ema X sending many many blessings for your new moon uh, well your full moon and your lunar eclipse we are gonna go ahead and use the palo santo to cleanse the energy of the space and anoint it for ritual uh we have our 128 hertz tuning fork which is good for relieving tension in the body aches and pains and just general clarity so we're gonna go ahead and use this To make sure that we are just energetically right for the day um yeah yeah very very grateful and if anybody from tiktok who saw the ad about the uh questions and the readings if you put forth a question and you know the live didn't happen i will uh go ahead and make sure that i reach out to you specifically and either answer the question on tiktok or um we'll set something up we'll set something up we'll make it work but yay 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 let's get into it so since it is a full moon we're gonna start off with the moonology deck and see we'll get like a general theme for the energy that's going on right now so most high ancestors <laughs> Look, I'm trying to learn how to fancy shuffle for you guys. I'm, I'm y'all see me out here trying. Um, but yeah, ancestors, most high angel spirit guides. What messages do you have for us in terms of navigating these hella chaotic Pluto in retrograde, Mercury in retrograde, full moon, lunar eclipse energies that we got going on? So let's go ahead and get started with that and. We got Ooh, listen first quarter moon in aquarius trust the universe that is a that is like a great card to have gotten for the overall theme of this reading and i'm excited i was already excited but now i'm like excited or because like trust the universe it means this too shall pass it means we understand we understand we understand we get it it is a lot happening right now and it is hella chaotic but this too shall pass like it's a uh, the universe is always conspiring for our highest and greatest good just in our limited human perspective we can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel we can't always see how what is happening right now in this moment is either protecting us from something or setting up something or teaching us a lesson that we will then use to master something else and based on the fact that that is 
110% how life works. Um, we just have to trust the universe right now. Um, we have to go with the flow. If it's ebbing, we got to go with the ebb. But either way, we have to be at peace with, uh, with what's happening, with what's happening, with what's going on. Big facts, Danny, big facts. Um, there's so many factors in any given day and time that can, you know, kind of throw off the energy. And that's why trust is such an important factor because you can't control like 99% of things. You can control you and like maybe some circumstances in your immediate environment, but that's might ice your wrist with that about it. Like it's about it. So, ooh, I missed this deck. This is the Moon Witch Oracle deck. And you know, we're feeling real moonish. We're feeling real moonish. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a shuffle for this and get some clarifying cards and just a deeper level of meaning. So I'm gonna do two cards from, um, do three cards from this deck. So let's go ahead, we'll do three shuffles. Okay, I'm about to be like the I'm about to be like the owl from the Tootsie Pop commercial. A <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so you know what? I looked at this one, so ooh. So we're gonna pull from the bottom of the deck. Spirit said pull from the bottom of the deck. All right, so first one is 13, Divine Feminine. Step into your power. That's an excellent one to get. So I'll just pop that up for you guys there so you can see it. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Transformation. Bang, bang, gang, gang. And... Transformation and what it says underneath is shed, let go, make room for greatness. So step in your power. Wait, I actually, let's see which direction it's going. Let's see which direction it's going. Because it's like step into your power, make room for greatness. Oh, oh no. All right, let's shift you over here. Let's do you here. And uh, we'll do back you up a bit. Yeah balance you there look at that look at that jenga and building houses of cards so multi-talented and readings all right and this last one coven says power of sisterhood so apparently the divine feminine has things to say and be heard um in regards to this um this particular reading and this this moon in general um so the first card we're going to get into is um divine feminine step into your power um the energy of one you know it's a 13 on the card um the energy of one is new beginnings the energy of three is vibrancy and movement and uh joy and the energy of four is structure so it's like you take the in or like you take the new start and you add you know the the joy that you get from whatever you know the activity is that you're stepping into your power around and those combine to make the energy of four which is just like the structure it is the you know it's the cube it is the the stackable unit so in that regard in that regard in that regard um and you know i know it says divine feminine but we're gonna we're gonna rock it out we're gonna rock out with it it's you know the energies are the energies are very mutable so yeah just step into your power it's one of the things that this moon and the lunar eclipse in general is teaching us is about you know transformation let things go to make room for greatness um but it takes a lot of courage 
in order to get to this stage. And usually in order to get to this stage, you will have got have to gotten to that stage. You will have had to step into your power because otherwise you'll still be clinging to the things that no longer serve you. If you haven't stepped into your power, you will still be clinging to the things that no longer serve you. And like, you see how like there's a butterfly on her coat in this one like it's a little butterfly on her coat but in this one you know the progress is she actually has the the wings illustrated on her back so before it was something she's a, was like you know adorning herself with but in this one it has become an intrinsic part of her um so in her stepping into her power she has gained her wings and understood that all she needs is herself and all she needs is, you know, her ancestors, the most high, all they need is themselves and the ancestors and the most high. And um, that once you step into your power, transformation isn't so scary. Once you step into your power, letting go of things isn't so scary because you trust the universe and you know that everything is always conspiring in your highest and greatest good. You know what I'm saying? So, but before you step into your power, it can be very easy to be like, well, what if I eliminate this thing and then nothing better comes along? But that's, that's where the trust, that's why the umbrella of this whole reading is the trust. Because without the trust, nothing is possible. So you start with trust. And then once you trust, that allows you to be able to step into your power. And then once you step into your power and get comfortable with it, now you can start shedding the things that no longer serve you, which leads us into this next one, which is coven, which is once you freaking make room for greatness, greatness can come in. Your tribe can find you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're coven, your people, whether that's romantically whether that is you know the people that you're meant to work with whether that is just the people you meant to kick it with you have to get rid of old shit like you can't if your bookshelf is full you can't add no more books it doesn't matter if you don't like the books that are already on your bookshelf and you really 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 like this new book it does not matter if you got so many books on your bookshelf you are gonna have to take some down to make room for that new book you know what i'm saying you might you might need to you because nature abhors a vacuum so once you clear it out it, you make space for new things that's why we're just very much in this whole uh, <laughs> it's why we're very much in this whole spring cleaning energy full moons in general are just releasing energy because it's like at its fullest and then every day after this it's going to diminish some slightly slightly that was a terrible moon graphic <laughs> Wait, it's, it's, it's no way to do it with your hand because like if i do it like this then like when i go to do like this i would have to like flip it and then it becomes a crescent but that we're not doing shadow puppets here we're we're, we're giving readings so I'm goofy. Y'all got to rock out with me. But yeah, so it's it's a, it's all about the energy of diminishing things. And lunar eclipses shed light by shedding darkness and allowing us to see the darkness so that we know what needs to actually be shed. You know what I'm saying? So this is such a powerful time and energy just for just for this space just for this space and time that we are in um so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and grab the top card off of here i'm gonna only grab one card off the top though because we did yeah you know i'm saying like we got one and three so now we about to add the four and and like you know what i'm saying it's the four so this is the general structure so now we're about to get into five which is going to be what's going to help to catalyze this change. If you are looking for a sign, here it is. What's going to catalyze this change is, you know, the universe giving you synchronicities, whether it is this reading. Ah, I will come up with a good format for these cards, I swear. 
But I appreciate you guys and your patience and rocking out with me. It's actually probably easier if I do build them like a house of cards. Hey, so <laughs> sign. Um, if you're looking for a sign, here it is. If you are here and this came across your path, this is meant for you. Look at the consistency of the butterflies and look at the, the, the garden of flowers here and then just imagine all the transformation that will happen once you do join your coven and you guys are all like going around and feeding each other and pouring into each other and nobody is being an energy leech like you're saying. It's, um, it could all be so simple if you just heed the signs, if you just listen. If you just listen and it doesn't necessarily have to be listening to me like you can talk to your ancestors and stuff directly um i would suggest meditation i would suggest you know um some sort of ancestral veneration um it's different depending on the culture you know like you know we all saw how they did ancestral veneration in mulan with like the stone statues and the incense whereas you know african traditions more so center altars but they're, you know it's all different but However you want to tap in and honor and spend time and love up on the people who made a way for you to be here with their existence and with their talents and with their gifts um, is, is, is definitely um, is yours. It's like a choose your own adventure novel because you're going to resonate with them based on the things that they liked in life. Like you know what I'm saying? So if... Like my dad's favorite type of cookie was chocolate chip cookie. So I try to keep a chocolate chip cookie on my altar because that's his cookie. That's his cookie. And when the cookie get all stale, I replace the cookie with a fresh cookie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't even be in this physical form. Like there would be no Ema X. There would be no rifts if that man hadn't met this woman and joined in holy matrimony. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so... Yeah, I, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of gratitude, but signs are also everywhere. And I like that there's a butterfly here because a lot of times signs come through to us in nature and we just be thinking like, oh, it's just like some nature. Like, oh, that was a pretty butterfly. Like, no, nah, that butterfly was a message. Like every animal has different symbolisms. And based on that, I'm going to go out and pull out the animal familiar deck because every animal has symbolism and we're going to get into that next um but whether you hear a dog bark whether you hear a crow call whether you see a cardinal whether you see a fox whether you see a squirrel whether you see a lizard insert you know wildlife occurrence we have been taught to believe that there's no significance to that um but everything is significant everything is pretty much a sign if you have eyes to see it and ears to hear it um the universe is constantly the most high is constantly trying to communicate with us through whatever means we are you know receptive to with some people it's like angel numbers and they'll see like repeating patterns of numbers and like sometimes you have to go and look those things up and for other folks it'll be animal messages and you'll have to be like huh well what does that mean if i you know i've been seeing a bunch of crows lately like let me get into what what that could possibly symbolize and in you setting the intention to just even be open it will greatly um increase what the universe actually like gives to you because it's like if you know somebody's not listening you're not going to be trying to talk to them all crazy but if you know that they actually have started listening and you're like oh okay that one that one's listening like let's let's help them get on point it's like let's kind of take some energy away from the people who aren't listening like you know what i'm saying and put it into this like yeah like yeah like this person gets it they're actually stepping into their power they're actually transforming they're actually finding where they belong in terms of not even just your place in like social or friend groups, but just your place in the world in general, like your purpose. Um, and just, you know, in terms of the power of sisterhood, just how feminine in energy shows up for each other in nurturing ways. Um, is something that we all need and is very much um, one of the more beautiful things about this plane of existence. 
Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into this Witches Familiar, John. And I am still using my cheat sheet because I have not been over here studying. I haven't. I'm not even going to pretend to y'all like I've been studying, but I haven't been studying these runes. I haven't. I'll learn them by osmosis, probably. That's how I learn most things. I never liked studying, even in school. I would like learn the shit in class and then like be like, nah, that's good. That is sufficient. I'm not, I didn't like homework either. I don't like busy work. I don't like, eh. Anyway, <laughs> enough about me. Let's see what the Witch's Familiar deck has for us. So we have Inguas. So let's go ahead and get into that. Just from me looking at the card, it's got a lion on it. So that's giving me regal strength pride ego as you know thematic things uh it's also got like a plant baby growing out of like a crystal which is a really interesting thing but let's see what the official explanation for this um meme is well me meme rune i'm sorry i was talking about the wrong symbolic thing there um so ingwas ingwas like i don't know i want to say it like simba from lies like Inguas. I can like hear Mufasa saying that shit. I'm goofy once again. Um, but it stands for creation, wholeness, energetic burst, harmony, and evolution. So look at look at how that ties just all of this together. Because, you know, the first step to stepping into your power and, you know transformation is a creative process it's a creative process you're basically creating yourself anew um to get from being your fragmented self to wholeness like you know what i'm saying the second word on the thing i'm gonna see if i can put it up there so y'all can see it no, it's, it's terribly unfocused it's terribly unfocused but first word is creation second word is wholeness so in the process of you creating yourself anew from being fragmented to being whole, like that's that's the work and you have to trust the universe throughout that. But you will find that once you get to wholeness, you will have an energetic burst in terms of just Feeling capable, finally, and feeling energized. I'm sorry, my energy is so big. I keep puffing and puffing over these cards, freaking Three Little Pig style. Should have made these cards with bricks and not. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna reposition so that I'm not out here, dis you know, disturbing a piece on some, on some ludicrous and chingy. Anyway. Energetic bursts. You get energized by the fact that you are now whole and complete. And that leads to just an internal sense of harmony. Once you start following the signs and trusting the universe and getting just deeper into your alignment, it brings a sense of peace because you know that this too shall pass. You know that yeah, it's ebbing right now, but it's finna flow. I might not know when it's finna flow because that's, you know, comes down to divine timing and alignment. But you know that at some point, in, at some certain point, it's gonna flow. It's a concept of physics. Even if you don't want to look at it from a spiritual perspective, it's like momentum. It's like the measure of the pendulum swing to the left is the measure of the pendulum swing to the right in a like, you know, closed energy system so it's like yeah it's gonna swing this way but always know that it's gonna swing back and that gives you a certain amount of <laughs> strength to endure the ebbs it gives you a certain amount of strength to endure the moments when you know uh you're in the midst of this transformation or you're in the midst of evolution because evolution is the last uh is the last card here and people talk about like healing as if it's all like cute as if it's all like spiritual baths and like incense and like massages and reiki like and it's not it's not <laughs> it's really not sometimes it's like 
crying uncontrollably and sometimes it is having to cut off people who you love but who are not good for you and that can get daunting it can get daunting it can get exhausting um and that is where community becomes so important because you need folks who are going to who are going to pour into you <laughs> And, uh, you know, motivate you in the times when you can't motivate yourself and, you know, just be, be, be a shoulder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because nature abhors a vacuum. And so like, as we are purging these energies, we have to make sure that we are actively in, in uh, replacing them with more positive energy. So like, it's not just about like clearing out trauma. It's then about reparenting your inner child to have healthy functioning ways of interacting and dealing with reality that aren't based around the traumas that you've just healed. Because like, you can heal the traumas, but then you'll still be kind of reacting in the same way just because you're so used to it. It's how you just react. It's not even like a thing that you notice really. It's just like, oh yeah, that's just how I react. It's just a thing. I decided I wanted some light. Anybody have a vote on what color light that we do? I'm feeling blue. Everybody like this blue? I'm, I think I'm gonna rock out with the blue, but yeah, little throat chakra, little throat chakra crown chakra well throat chakra third eye different types of blue but you know we're not going to get into semantics here um <laughs> the process of healing is ongoing also like people think it's like oh i you know did you know this and now i'm healed like i did a ritual i did a cord cutting and now i'm healed and it's like no because A, a lot of times we may have healed one layer of things, but every time you are triggered, it is like a deepening of the wound. If the if first initial wound was an inch deep, then every time you get triggered is like another inch. So yeah, you may have gone back and addressed, you know, the 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 last instance of that trigger but until you get down to the root cause a lot of times you are still going to be unpacking different layers of that and that can seem daunting um but it's so worth it it's so worth it like look at how happy all of these cards look like it's so worth it it's so beautiful and it's so greater later you just have to trust the universe what the sixers say i you know i'm originally from philly and you know a lot of philly people watch me so what did the sixers say trust the process you gotta you gotta trust the process um yeah you have to you have to trust the process and also i am doing like question readings um cinco de mayo five five and then a 23 is also a five so I'm doing donation based or you can donate five dollars to the cash app which is the same as this channel just dollar sign ema x if you have a specific question but if you just want to rock out with the general that is totally fine too i am just grateful for you guys being here and um sharing space because community is so important and that goes for whether you clicked on for a second and clicked off listen at least you clicked on there's people who've seen a notification and was like eh but it might not be for them. Um, and that's also okay. It's, it doesn't have to be, you know, combative or the end of the world or, or any of those things. And I have no idea how long I have been on here. Um, and I want, to, all right, I'm going to have to do some, some jinging because I want to keep these cards here, but I also want to take out the rebel deck Look at that Jenga master, Jen <laughs> like, So I'm gonna do our last pull here from the Rebel deck, which is, I don't really have a favorite deck, but this one has its own certain charm because you know, the other ones are kind of more like ethereal and this one just be like, yo, 
you need to, you know, you need to cut that nigga off. You know, you need to cancel that bitch like me now. It's like, what be going on in this deck? And I am here for it. Like, like perfect example. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. And we also have sign here. No, bruh. No, bruh. Like, anybody who try to say that, like, oh, tarot and shit is not real. Like, nah, bruh. There is no way. There is no way that I could have possibly engineered it. Ah, come on. Look, I'm all nervous now. I got all excited because of just the synchronicity of the message and the signiness of the sign. The sign was like, oh, it, sign. So we already got the sign card that comes out that says, if you are looking for a sign, here it is. And then literally I said that this deck be much more matter of fact. And the first card that I pulled is what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. And then on the other side is if you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. This message is specifically for somebody, and I hope that it reaches you, and I hope that you receive it. Because um, I did what I was supposed to do. I listened, I listened, and I came on to deliver the message. Now, it's, you know, it's time for you to pick up the baton and, um, and, carry, that, and carry that shit forward. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually very surprised that my patience has not run out with this, uh, second card. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. And what I take from that, uh, we're going to do one last. <laughs> you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into it. I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna set these up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So, yeah. It's just funny at this point to me. Next time they fall, though, I might just leave them down. They might, oh, you know what? I think they're trying to tell me to take those down and display these instead. So we'll go ahead and do that because I'll be listening. I can listen. Look, they were like, if you're looking for a sign that these cards don't want to be formatted this way, here the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. So first card is, if you're waiting for a sign, here it is. Second card is ancient shit is cool get some fucking yoga and what i'm getting from that is yoga yes but yoga is just one tool that we have for mastering alignment there's qigong there's tai chi there's all sorts of movements uh that are designed to move energy through your body to aid in the transformation and also to aid in the evolution um but outside of just movement based things, there are other tools that are also ancient, like aromatherapy and incense and the burning of certain herbs and the, and the medicinal effects of that um, from cannabis to sage, you know what I'm saying? Like, or even just crystals. Crystals are super fucking ancient because like literally they got formed in the earth from composite minerals when the earth was forming and shit like that's fire. They're probably the most, one of the most ancient things that we interact with besides like psilocybin, which is also like a ridiculously ancient tool because mushrooms was one of the first uh, creatures to, I'm not going to say creatures, uh, life forms. That was a white ass way to, that was a, that was a colonized ass way to describe that. Um, yeah, so one of the earliest life forms to to exist on this planet and they're a great ancient intelligence and i tell anybody that like doing shrooms is like having a conversation with your elder but much like your elder because people are always like well what about bad trips and stuff and it's like have you ever come to your elder with some nonsense 
Like, have you ever gone to an elder with some nonsense? Especially, and no, that's across the board. Because I was going to say, especially in the black community. But no, that goes for Asian communities. That goes for Hispanic communities. That even goes for white communities. Like, that is pretty much a cultural thing. It's like, you do not bring nonsense to, to elders. Because they don't have the patience for it. Because they done already been young and foolish. And like, they, they respect where you are. But they also just like, you need to tighten up. You need to tighten up. But... At the end of the day, all of these things are combining just to say, you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. And I was just saying that I lit the freaking blue light because I was like, I feel like we need some throat chakra. That's literally why I went and got um, my, my, my choker because it also has a soda light crystal on here which is a blue crystal and also resonates with the third chakra so yeah like just don't use it for dumb shit just don't use it for dumb shit just do not use it for dumb shit is is the greatest lesson because this is the thing once you do this whole process and come out new it's easy to fall back into bullshit it's super easy to fall back into bullshit and to sometimes not share what we have been through and what we have learned um because it just doesn't seem like anybody will care it doesn't seem like anybody will worth it but you never know how sharing your particular story um is going to positively impact people um and I am being told to you know lead by example and I had no intention of doing this today <laughs> but um as much as I be on here talking to you guys um it's also messages for me now we might all be in different stages of this process some people are just still learning how to trust the universe some people are out here in this stage whether they're in the transformation stage or they're over here um you know they found their tribe or some people are at the point of like getting started with their practices and stuff some people are in their practices but just need a reminder about being more consistent with them and some people are in the point where they've mastered all of that and they just need to know to stay aligned. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about the journey and about community is that even if we all are at different points, we can come together and share learned experience. Like, yo, this helped me get through this level. So maybe you could try it. It might work for you. Oh, you're at that level? Well, even though, because also time is an illusion. So even though I was I was doing this kind of in a chronological way, everybody's order of operation for how they get through these things are going to be different because everybody's traumas are going to be different. Like if you grew up in a family that super demonized, you know, everything that wasn't, you know, traditionally Christian and so forth and stuff like that, then you might have a block against yoga and, you know, crystals and things like that and burning incense and sage because the fact that it's, you know, demonic is just so deeply implanted into your psyche, into your psyche that this might be the last step that you get to. But for some people, it's like, this might be the first step that you get to. You're like, oh yeah, I know I'm fucking awesome. I already knew that. What else? And then it's like, well, now you need to like, step into that and then also like shed the parts that are not aligned or even if you are completely 110 percent awesome you might just need to shed people that aren't aligned or habits that aren't aligned or like you know what i'm saying um any of the above so yeah sometimes sometimes you just gotta trust the universe sometimes you just gotta trust the process I realized that I had that down and you guys couldn't see it. And I like. 
if anybody knows the symbolisms for the chakra, I wish that I knew which one that was. My inclination, I don't know. I don't know. I am not sure. But if anybody knows that, please, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll reply to your comment with how it resonates with this reading. But I love that the woman there is like dancing under, under the moonlight. Because that's the type of freedom that trusting the universe gives you. Like, it's the alpha and the omega. Like, you start with trusting the universe, but then once you get to this point, it's still, like, it's that's all that it is. It's just trusting the universe. And you see how the moon at this point is, like, dark and light. So it's like, yeah, it's going to be ebbs and flows. It's going to be dark and light. But you can dance through them both. You can dance through them both. The, the best place, the most balanced place is the center. Every, you know, what's the difference between trees that get uprooted in storms versus trees that do not? The difference is flexibility. The difference is adaptability. And being able to dance in the ebb and dance in the flow is a perfect embodiment of, you know, that tree that bends with the wind because storms are going to come. It is a facet of reality on this plane of existence. Um, I didn't design it. If y'all have questions, you could take it up with somebody else. That's the third eye symbol. Thank you. Thank you, Roswell. And that's a battle rap homie. Look at look at that. That's a throwback battle rap homie. Peace God. So yeah. So the third eye symbol. And that's perfect because where do the signs and stuff normally hit you? What did I say the blue light was? I said the blue light was also your throat chakra, but I also said it was your third eye chakra because that's where your intuition operates. Your crown chakra is universal cosmic energy. You get what I'm saying? It's more so to do with higher concepts. Uh, however, in terms of mastering your physical, your third eye is definitely what's going to lead you there. The signs are definitely what's going to lead you there. You just have to trust it. You have to trust the signs. You have to trust the universe. You have to, you just have to, to trust and dance. I hope you dance. Wait, yo, all right, so that's the channel song for this reading. This is my first channel song. Well, it's not my first channel song. Literally, all I do is channel songs. If you know me on a personal level, about 40% of my communication is song lyrics or media references. But I say that to say, I hope you never lose your sense of wonder. Um, never I don't even know the words to that song, but I hope you dance. Um, Shania Tain, Twain, Sheryl Crow, I'm being racist, but it's some country music female singer of that era. But it's like, I hope you never lose your sense of wonder. Um, you think of selling out, reconsider, like, you know, it, I'm not rhyming. I'm just coming, random phrases are coming to me. Um, don't settle for the path of least resistance. Um, um, yeah, don't don't settle for the path of least, least resistance also. I'm going to get into that. Don't settle in general. Don't settle in general. That shit is the devil because it, it leads to stagnancy. Like think about, think of, okay, so like if we're talking about going with the ebb and the flow, trusting the process, then literally the opposite of that would be settling because settling is stagnancy settling is the lack of movement like you know what i'm saying that's literally what it means when something when something settles and if we're using water as an analogy because we're talking about ebb and flow and i'm a big bruce lee fan so it's like be water my friend you know what i'm saying what happens to water when it settles Flowing water is clear and pure, right? Like when the water is flowing, it's clear and pure. But when the water settles, it starts to get stagnant and bugs start to come and things start to grow in it. Because one thing about water, it is incredibly life-giving, just like you are. 
just like you are. And if you start to settle, then like all sorts of people who are not for your highest and great, like, like hold on, wait, <laughs> hold on, wait, I want to change, I want to change the light on this one to be sinister. So when you settle, all sorts of, let's direct the red light, make it real ominous. All sorts of people who are not for your highest and greatest goods and all sorts of energies like that then have access to you because you're standing still and you're just there and they're like, hmm, well, this looks like a good place to just set up shop and feed, like you know what I'm saying? And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. You don't deserve that. You deserve to grow. You deserve to dance under 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 the moonlight you deserve to get to the point of activating your third eye and maybe even activating your crown depending on what you came here to do but you at a very bare minimum should not have to worry about fucking root chakra issues like you know what I'm saying like nah bro like trust the universe you good all root chakra energy just as like I was saying that this is the alpha and the omega, it's also in everything because most root chakra issues are just not trusting the universe. It's like, I don't feel safe. And it's like, well, you're divinely protected. So why don't you feel safe? And it's like, well, I don't, I'm worried about where, you know, my next meal is going to come from. And it's like, well, the universe always provides. Now it might not be in the way that we are looking for it or in the way that is most ideal for us. But if we listen, if we, I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. Like if you see the signs and you follow and heed them, then you will get led to wherever your meal is going to come from. And that is a metaphor to whatever is going to feed you. And that could be in a physical sense, that could be in a soul sense, that could be in a just information light sense because like inspiration is you know what is what feeds your soul like art and beauty are the things that that feed your soul um yeah so this, this is this is the sign card that i could not find um yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading um i'd be so grateful Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I knew I was feeling like I wasn't done, but I wasn't getting called to like do another shuffle or anything. So like I looked at that card because it was over here face down and I was like, oh, maybe that's the mystery card that's going to like complete the, complete the reading. But no, I left the, uh, I left the, I left the rebel deck, uh, face, see it, it face up, face up. There's messages on both sides, but I take this as like the top and I take this as a bottom. So I had the bottom turned up. And the card that came out. Ooh, be fucking grateful. Shit could be much worse. Isn't that what I just said? Isn't that what I just said? That like. As bad as it is, it could always be worse. So you got to be grateful. You have to be grateful for where you are and what you have. And that is the thing that allows you to, you know, to dance is and to feel safe and secure. That's other another thing because it's like you're trusting in the universe and you're like, I'm grateful because, you know, it's some people out here who was born without like eh, it could always be worse. Insert whatever thing you are going through and that's a perspective that keeps you in a in a place of gratitude of just like yeah like I am grateful it's, it keeps you in a place of being more mindful of the of the positives than just dwelling on the negative because it's like yeah like this is going wrong and not saying that you can't feel your feelings and process it because that's part of the that's part of the transformation that's part of the the eclipse cycle you have to see where the dark is in order to be able to know where the healing needs to take place so yeah you can acknowledge that but you can't you can't dwell in that shit you have to use your tools to help you transform and transmute that energy because you know that that is not the end of the world that is not the worst thing that could possibly ever happen to you and even if you go through some shit 
that in your mind, you were like, this is the worst possible thing that I could ever go through. Cause trust me, last year, this exact time, I was going through some shit that based on like my human configuration, the combination of my signs and like just my ego and my traumas was probably the apex worst, scariest situation that I have ever been through. But did I die? No, because I'm sitting here having a conversation with y'all and this is not ghost whisper or like a paranormal activity. We're having this conversation, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood on some DMX, you know what I'm saying? We, we here with it. So I say that to say, but did you die? And once you get to the point of like, No, I didn't die. I am um, maybe got a little nicked, might need to you know brush off my shoulders, but I am now I'm still alive and kicking, still breathing, all of those things. You know what I'm saying? Like all I am still I am still here. So shit could be worse. And death isn't even the, the worst thing that can happen to you. So shit could even be worse than being dead. So I'm super grateful for you guys and for the space to be able to share these messages. And I hope that this resonates with someone. I hope, actually, I know because I trust the universe and the signs, I know that this is going to resonate with someone. I know that it is. And it is freaking 333 right now, fam literally like you cannot make this shit up as i was just like i'm trusting the signs i know it's finna resonate with somebody it's literally 3 33 right now on the clock i love magic <laughs> and i love not even magic because magic isn't the right word for it we need a better word for it because magic is the word that like colonization put on it um, to make it seem like something that isn't intrinsic to everything. Um, but it's not magic, but I just love how the signs operate, how synchronicities work in the world. So like, as much as I hope that this is catharsis for you guys, it has been catharsis for me because I couldn't have possibly planned in two different decks, the sign card coming out. I couldn't have planned that. I couldn't have planned that when I said I'm finna trust the signs and just know that I was gonna look at my phone and it was gonna be 333. I don't even know what made me look at that section of the phone. I haven't been looking at the time the entire time. And yet, this is how signs work. So I'm glad that in us talking about signs working, you guys got to see real life illustrations about how signs work because it's one thing, some people learn differently. Some people can just hear something as a concept and understand it. Some people need to read things, but then some people need to see things actually happen. And if you watch this reading from beginning to end, you will see how spirit has clearly moved and you know, had had a conversation with us. And I said that it's always attempting to communicate and all we need to do is be listening. So apparently you guys are good listeners. Apparently you guys are good listeners. I wish I could give y'all all gold stickers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or like the grown up equivalent of a gold sticker, which might be like, I don't know, a nick of weed. I don't, I don't know, whatever, whatever you like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe like some chicken tenders. I don't know. I don't know what people like some quinoa and kale. I don't know. You know, I have vegans, but whatever it is, I wish I could give you guys all the adult equivalent of gold stickers <laughs> because y'all are super and you are fucking amazing and talented and the world needs your power. The world needs your power. That's why you have to step into it. It's not stepping into it for like ego purposes, stepping into it because the world freaking needs it. Whatever combination of characteristics you embody and present to the world are necessary and unique and needed 
and it's so, so needed. Don't ever think that you don't have purpose. Don't ever think. No, okay. I'm trying to get out of speaking in negative. So always know that you have purpose. Always understand that even when you are in the midst of this energy and you are, you know, on the ground crying, looking for something, whatever she's doing down there, praying, prostrate. Just know that when you are in this situation, it gets greater later. And you are still powerful in this state. If anything, this is one of the most powerful states because it takes a lot of power to understand when you need help and understand your capabilities and your, you know, just what exactly you bring to the table. So, yeah. So be fucking grateful. Because I'm grateful for y'all. And I'm grateful um, for all the things that align for all of us to be here right now. Because that's the other, that's my other favorite part about signs and synchronicities and one of my favorite thought exercises that I like to like communicate with people is like think about how many little things like how many little things had to happen for your parents to meet like to be at the same place at the same time that day so like there's the little things like they had to decide to go to that event they had to be single or at least mentally receptive enough to somebody new because, you know, not everybody's parents were single. Sometimes romances be on some Romeo and Juliet where it's like you got somebody, I got somebody, but like this is a better fit type of deal. On some Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats type of deal. Um, shout out to Mashonda. But I say all that to say that so many things had to happen even if we go back further than that they had to live in the same city one of them had to decide to like not move or like you know what i'm saying they had to have that day off so they had to have a job that allowed them to have that day off they had to have like means to get there like so many little things that we take for granted as insignificant are all part of the universe's plan and that's why we gotta trust it because when we are in these periods of darkness like your mom might have been on your the way to wherever she was finna meet your dad and might have got stuck in traffic and that would have been dark for her because in her ego and in her human mind she like no nah, because i gotta be there by a certain time because i'm supposed to be meeting my girls and then we supposed to be doing this and da, 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 da. but if she'd have got there on time your dad wouldn't have got there yet and they'd have missed each other so she got caught in traffic but if she would have never got caught in traffic, you wouldn't be here. So was her getting caught in traffic actually a bad thing? But did she die? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to cut the universe so much slack with the little things that we allow to shake us to the core. And I don't mean little things because I am in no way belittling any of the things that anybody goes through all trauma is valid all feelings are valid valid and um they deserve to be honored and held space for but that's why it is important to keep to keep the gratitude perspective that's why it's important to be fucking grateful because in the moment when you're stuck in traffic Instead of being like, oh, man, I'm stuck in traffic. It's like, well, at least I'm going to get there safe. And, you know, at least I had gas money to put in the car. And at least, you know, like, I hope if it is an accident, I hope whoever's safe. And I'm just grateful that it wasn't me. Like, just be, just be grateful. That shit helps. It helps. It helps. It helps to keep you from jumping off jumping off the deep end um jumping out the window whoa, some ran brow shit like jumping out the window over things that are aligning for your greater good later you may not know how you may you may not know why you may not know how in the moment but that's where trust comes in and you may not know what this sign is leading you to you like 
Well, why am I being told to do this? Why am I being told to do that? And it's like, no, you, you just have to trust the universe. You'll see eventually. Hindsight is twenty twenty. You'll see eventually. You'll like. It's not an if. It's like no. You'll see. You'll be like, oh, so that's why that happened. Like.